Hi, just a quick video. I'm trying to do this as a one take uh, without editing. Um, obviously, virtually everyone I know, whenever their domestic appliances die, they sort of call me to have a look at them, which in some cases I don't, I don't mind, especially if it's something I've not seen the inside of before. Uh, this is a Panasonic microwave oven. It's actually an, an inverter microwave that uses like a, a high frequency transformer. You can see the um, windings on the high voltage transformer there. And it was just basically the symptom was, you know, it went bang and then it then it died. So I was thinking, oh, it's probably like a high voltage diode or something very terminal. So I opened it up and what I found was the bulb had gone. And you can actually see there's like metal, you can actually see some copper and metal deposited on the inside of the bulb. Um, small bulbs like this quite often actually have vacuum inside rather than being gas filled because at very low wattages, gas filled, filled bulbs lose quite a lot for, in convection. So you can actually see there's some um, sort of copper deposits. Now, um, when bulbs blow, what can often happen is it's not just a case of the filament just simply goes open and it goes open circuit at the point where the filament breaks that will often initiate an arc and that arc can then spread across to um, the other electrode on the bulb so what can happen is you get a very momentary very high current flow um, so you quite often find that for example domestic incandescent bulbs when they blow they'll trip the circuit breaker because of that so Basically what's happened is this bulb blowing has effectively led to a chain of events that, me that means basically this whole microwave is scrap and virtually unrepairable. Uh, let me just go through what, um, what I've worked out happened. So the bulb's blown. Now on this part, this um, sort of control, basically the control circuitry, there's like a front panel board that's got the user interface, just a microcontroller, and then there's the power board that has got um, there's a little switch mode power supply that gives us gives 12 volts there's relays to switch the various things like there's a relay that switches on the bulb and the um the turntable motor and there's a relay that isolates the um main inverter section so in addition to the bulb blowing the actual track to the relay that switches the base bulb the, the uh, bulb and the turntable motor are connected to the same circuit so what happened is here we have basically a PCB fuse where it says PF2 there. There's actually a PCB track you can see has just disappeared. It's sort of just vaporized when that bulb went. Um, there's also another track. It also blew this track off the PCB as well. But the, the, the main issue here is the fact that this track sort of vaporized. There was a bit of blackening that I've cleaned off of here. And the way this was packaged, it, it basically this sits inside the front. So these, these two PCBs sit like this. So opposite where this fuse was, there was a big black mark on this PCB here. Again, I've cleaned most of it off, but you can still see some of the remnants. And what happened was that explosion, the conductive plasma that, that occurred when that track exploded, actually caused mains voltage to get onto the logic circuits here on where the keyboard switch is so um, the other thing the second thought I found was that there was a transistor here that was a 5 volt regulator I just replaced that with a 7805 um, just to get 5 volts in there so yeah when I was testing it the, the main symptom was the 5 volt rail wasn't there so there's a uh, I'm sure I can find it here. Um, no, it's disappeared. But there's a little 5 volt transistor. I couldn't be bothered to figure out exactly what transistor that was. So I just stuck whacked a 7805 in there. So we had 5 volts, but uh, yeah, the micro is still dead. And I'll just check. Yeah, there were 5 volts going to the micro, but there was um, no signal at this oscillator. And also, I was just checking that. And it turns out the, um, the, the keys are sort of run by like a matrix. So all the keys are connected to a pin on the micro. And there's one. Um, one of these keyboard lines is now measuring as a short to ground. So obviously what's happened is that mains has arced over to this, this pin, stuck high voltage down the pin. That may well have caused a latch up so that the five volt line um, provides the additional energy needed to actually destroy the chip and say that, that IO pin is now shorted directly to the ground. Now, of course, this is a custom micro. You can't get this chip. I've had a look online. I can't find you know this being available as a spare part. So literally that bulb blowing has effectively made, rendered this thing completely unrepairable which is you know for and you know the fundamental design issue was simply that they'd used 
a PCB track as a fuse, which yeah, which is fine. I mean, that that's not in in itself a problem. Yeah, I've seen that um, in quite a few bits of consumer electronics. But simply the fact that that was just too close to this PCB, so the flash when that ex when that track blew up caused a high voltage short onto this PCB and just killed it. I mean, a, 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 either a plastic cover or using a PCB fuse would have been the solution to that. But uh, so it's a bit of a shame that. Um, that it's now in that state but uh, I suppose possibly it might be worth in the future maybe there's some fun to be had with that um, transformer but so I thought it was just an interesting sort of bit of a, a chain of events from something apparently fairly um, benign like a bulb blowing has effectively destroyed the, the thing in fact you can actually see there's little dots there's actually little globules of molten metal deposit on the inside of the board when the PCB I mean say a friend said that it made a fair, quite loud bang so obviously that most of that bang, part of that bang was the bulb and the other part was the vaporization of that fuse on the board but this is a fairly uh, explosively um, dead bulb so that's quite an interesting uh, interesting failure mode